let's get started with node red so the node red designer is browser based so this isn't a web browser on the left hand side we have nodes that you can drag and drop into the workspace the thing you build on your workspace is going to be called a flow and you can add multiple flows and switch back and forth between these tabs now on the right hand side you have info and debug I'm going to drop a node, the inject node, and while it's highlighted, the info tab displays info about this node. I'm going to also drag a debug. And the debug is very useful for debugging, for developing, and its main purpose is to print the output over here to the debug tab. So we're going to wire these things together and I don't have to edit the inject node but I'm gonna go check it real quick so you see what's going on here it's gonna inject a timestamp payload and there's no topic so I'm gonna hit deploy click inject and it injects the timestamp this isn't a human readable uh, timestamp this is a Unix number of milliseconds since 1970 let's go ahead and edit the inject node so we can actually give it a label here so so that gives it a more descriptive label on your flow so we're gonna go in here let's change the payload to do something else like a string and we want the string to be hello world and then the topic could be test. Deploy our changes, click inject, and we see that it says hello world. One thing to note that is that the debug tab has this little box where you can click it in. When you click it in, it will no longer print. So if you have lots of debug nodes, it's very handy. You can turn them on and off without deploying your changes. Another handy thing about the debug node is you can configure it to not only just show the payload, you can have it show the entire message object. We'll talk about message objects a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and deploy, inject. Let's go ahead and clear this up here. So you can see there's two here, and as I mouse over, the debug node that printed the message highlights red so you can see that this top one only printed hello world and then this bottom one printed the entire message object which there was a, a message ID a topic and a payload before we go let's talk about the inject a little more so we can have it inject a specific payload um, you can pick different data types um, you can also have it inject once at startup so every time you hit deploy or every time node red starts it would inject you can also have it repeat so this is like a, a timer so you could have it go every several seconds minutes hours you can also do something like at a specific time so this would be like uh, let's say we were building a sprinkler timer and we wanted to sprinkle at 11 actually that would be 23 30 so that would be 1130 at night we only want to run on Monday Wednesday and Friday so this schedule would only trigger at those times 